Okay. I just saw something that ran past the screen um, from the Young Turks, Jink, and um, the rest of them. Actually, it is a. Uh, it is um. It's really interesting and it's really kind of spooky because Noam Chomsky, he, he had a warning, okay? So I, I'm just suggesting that we as American citizens just buckle up now because the ride is going to be swift. The um, situation is a little bit mm, bleak to say the least. And here, just just uh, hear it for yourselves. Forget about what I'm saying about it. They said, the potential for a total breakdown of the chain of command along partisan lines from the top of the chain to squad level is significant should another insurrection occur. Listen. Going to write, quote, the potential for a total breakdown of the chain of command along partisan lines from the top of the chain to the squad level is significant should another insurrection occur. All right. Uh, we've got a new op-ed from three retired generals saying, watch out, there might be a coup coming. Inside the United States, inside the U.S. military. It is incredible. Uh, it is a very stark and clear warning. You're not getting it. There are people inside the military that would be mutineers and not listen to the legitimate president of the United States. The, the, the oath to the Constitution and the notion that this is not this is not what the armed forces should ever do is to interfere in an election. Um, that that held. I think your concern, though, is that 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 could be eroded with sustained attempts by the ex president and and his sort of facilitators uh, to eat into that belief, at least among. Uh, folks that are that are in the armed forces, which of course is you know 1.5 million people or whatever. Indeed, there is an active movement right now, the part of the GOP, to infect the armed forces of the United States with doubt that the election process is uh, is just not what uh, we expect it to be. To insert doubt that uh, we are conducting fair and elegantly delivered elections. So it's Paul Eaton, a retired U.S. Army uh, Major General, Antonio Taguba, Army Major General, uh, Stephen M. Anderson, a retired Brigadier General. Um, so they're all retired. They're all uh, very high-level generals in the United States military. And, uh, and I'm going to read at length some of their warnings. In the beginning, they summarized by saying, in short, uh, we are chilled to our bones at the thought of a coup succeeding next time. So they think it's very real uh, and that we need to take steps to prevent it. So they give one specific example, which is definitely chilling. They say recently and perhaps more worrying, uh, Brigadier General Thomas Mancino, the commanding general of the Oklahoma National Guard, refused an order from President Biden mandating that all National Guard members be vaccinated against the coronavirus. So um, there we have it already. Uh, so it is not disputable whether you have to listen to the commander in chief. That's why he's the commander in chief. That's the president of the United States of America. That is not in dispute. So you don't get to say, hey, you know what? Ah, but I didn't like his order. I want to listen to someone else. The National Guard is national. Uh, but that um, Brigadier General now in kind of a mutiny situation saying, no, I'm going to listen to the Republican governor of Oklahoma instead. Uh, which really has almost nothing to do with the National Guard. The National Guard are federal troops. There is no question about it. But now, to the point of the uh, three generals that wrote this op-ed, now there is a question as to whether they will follow orders or they will start to do break off uh, factions of the military. This is of oh, the U.S. military. This is incredibly dangerous. The creeping fascism is here. Uh, and to the point of, that the generals are making, we're kind of whistling past the uh, graveyard here, uh, thinking, oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, they're not listening to orders anymore in the military, and they might do factions and maybe a coup, but, uh, I mean, what are we getting alarmed about? They're like, yes, you should be alarmed, really, really alarmed, as they are. So they continue. The potential for a total breakdown of the chain of command along partisan lines from the top of the chain to squad level is significant should another insurrection occur. 
The idea of rogue units organizing among themselves to support the rightful commander in chief cannot be dismissed. So Trump started this by saying, I didn't lose, even though the states clearly said, including the red states like Georgia, Arizona, etc., saying, no, he did lose. Republican officials in those states. And then they did audit after audit. And then they lost 60 uh, court cases. He definitely lost. And in fact, in those 60 court cases, he has never presented any evidence uh, that has gotten any traction at all. Yet they all still want to not listen credible, to him. Including by Trump-appointed judges saying, you have not presented any evidence. But nonetheless, there are members of the military who are now beginning to go rogue and saying, well, I wanted him to win. So, and he says he's the rightful president. So maybe I'll start listening mm-hmm. to him instead. Well, that's how you get to civil war when there are two branches of the United States military and they don't agree. And what happens when they point guns at one another? Wow. The generals are right. Impending disaster. There's an iceberg right in front of the Pentagon. We're not going to take it anymore. I see a civil war coming. I do. I see civil war coming. I tell you right now, if they steal the election, all bets are off. These people are so stupid. Noam Chomsky has a dire warning for the United States. The 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 election was never stolen to Trump law. Y'all damn dummies. 2021. Is what has happened. Everybody else had the to turn over the ghost. Wealthy except for him. State and now that he lost. It's going off, literally going off the president. Oh, man. There was recently a study man, of Man, these people are out of control. Republican dog. voters on many issues. Comparative study. Comparing them with European parties. The results are pretty grim. They rank with parties like Alternative for Deutschland. The right wing, it's ridiculous. Fascist party. That's the. It's going. It is one of the two major parties in the United States. Absolutely the correct. The party that is very likely to take power next year and in 2024 because of the various manipulations and ah. shenanigans that they're carrying out. They won't win the vote, but they may very. They'll probably win the election. Right. In the study that Chomsky cited, the views of the current Republican Party were in alignment with very right-wing authoritarian foreign governments. Chomsky mentioned that the Republican Party would likely return to power in 2022 and 2024, but not necessarily because they have the votes. In 2021, 34 laws were passed restricting access to voting, while 262 bills were introduced in 41 states that would have interfered with elections. Texas, where I live, led the charge last year, with an impressive 59 voter suppressive bills introduced. For comparison, Arizona had the second most, with 20. I always say that Texas is not as red as people think it is, but we're up against a lot. If you take a look at uh, the attitudes of Republican voters during the four Trump years, concern for global warming declined by about 20%. 20%. That's four years of propaganda. Uh, there are ominous signs of worship of a semi deity. We're both old enough to remember that from somewhere else. Okay. When you look at various conflicts and uprisings around the world, you tend to find a few common themes in regards to why it all happened in the first place. There's some Hitler One shit. One of the most common themes that you run into is a minority ruling a majority. This can happen in various different ways, but one of the best ways it can happen is through voter suppression. Voter suppression ensures that the voices of the masses are stifled in one way or another, resulting in a government that simply does not represent the people. In a democracy, that's a huge problem. Y'all heard that? How are people? I mean, I, I, there's there's nothing else to say. Y'all heard it. You guys have heard it, and when we speak on it, you see that's what it is. They thinking about taking 
over this country. And so for any black person out here, I'm just going to call names. Any black person out here, Scott, Stanton, any of these Candace Owens, whoever this is that I got y'all friendly walking into a damn coup, a one world order, and they want you to be fine with it, and they keep you preoccupied on crazy stuff. Y'all have to look out for them because they don't they don't mean you no good. None whatsoever. I'm done. Wake up, people. Wake up.